hey guys thanks so much for clicking on today's braces vlog i haven't done a vlog style for my braces like a vlog style video in a really long time i think when i first got my braces back in 2017 so we're here with the vlog and today the reason why i want to do kind of like a vlog style is because i have two important appointments that i think it's necessary to share with you guys one of those appointments is my impressions for my retainers that's today and that's so bittersweet because i love my braces so much like i think they're a part of me now so to see them go and i can just tell that i'm in the ending stages of my braces journey it kind of makes me want to shed a tear or two so that's happening today i'll try and get some clips of what that's like just because of the pandemic and everything i'm pretty sure that my doctor's office has like a lot of restrictions but they're just gonna have to tell me no so i'm gonna bring my phone inside with me just to get some clips for you guys and um yeah so that's today and then my second appointment is for a gingivectomy sounds scary right i know i feel scared so i never knew what a gingivectomy was until my doctor mentioned it to me and basically it's when you laser off excessive gum tissue in your mouth so if you have small teeth or if there's some gums like growing or protruding in between your teeth or whatever you can get that laser off so that it, your your smile will appear more teethy i guess you can say so the reason why i'm getting one in september is because if you guys look closely there is a small pocket of gum right in between my two front teeth right there and if you look closer you'll see that um there's like a small gap right here at the bottom of my two front teeth and so basically my orthodontist thinks that once my gums grow back to normal size that there will be a small gap there i don't want that he doesn't want that so i am going to get the gingivectomy and he's basically going to just laser this part off um but since i'm paying for it i'm just going to tell him to you know wherever he sees fit to just go ahead and laser off this as well or you know whatever um so that's scary i'm so scared for that i don't know much about the process i've been trying to do a little bit of research while also not freaking myself out and um it's pretty much just the lasering off of gum tissue that's it so i'll give you guys more info on that once i have info but for right now i'm gonna focus on today stay in the present moment and focus on me getting my impressions for my retainers so after I do this appointment I'm still gonna have my braces on until they arrive and then I'll do the gingivectomy I'm gonna go ahead and head out and I'll try and get as much footage as I can if not I will definitely be explaining in detail what you guys should expect for each single thing but I'll probably have a few clips here and there as well for you guys, just so you guys can get a gist of what's going on. So enough talking, let's go ahead and head to the car and go to my first appointment. I just arrived a couple of minutes early um my face is like extra puffy today it's probably because of my allergy so if it looks puffy excuse that so about to go in uh got my prayer over anxiety shirt on I always wear this when I'm feeling some type of way which is a lot so I'm always wearing this shirt and let's go see what's inside Class. 
Back home in the driveway. Why is this okay? My teeth are sore as crap. Oh, by the way, I got navy blue. You guys know this is my favorite color to wear. Well, one of them, if you watched my colors you should get for braces video, check it out if you haven't. This is my favorite color to do. So a lot just took place at that appointment that I was not expecting. Um, so for starters, he actually did like a pre gingivectomy type of thing for this part. If you can tell, there's like a small space that's where the gums used to be. And I don't know if he got it all, but I could literally feel him drilling into my gums. And he put like this topical numbing cream on there, I was swallowing it. So my tongue, my entire tongue, feels like extremely fat and numb luckily my throat isn't numb or anything but I can tell it's wearing off but either way he did it and my lips are numb too he buzzed some of the stuff off and yeah I was not expecting that I thought I was just gonna go in there and get an adjustment get my impressions for my retainers which also happened too so I know you guys saw those clips I wasn't able to really show that gingivectomy part the pre gingivectomy thing he did because I wasn't expecting it myself and I needed to brace myself so you guys didn't see that you may see it at my next appointment and my next appointment is the plan is to have my braces off and to um, do the gingivectomy but he told me and assured me that my two front teeth he's gonna work on getting them as straight as possible before I get them off so there's a chance that I may leave on September without my braces off and I'm totally fine with that I'm, I told him I'm in no rush as long as they're one off before the wedding and two they're just straight like my teeth are straight I'm fine so I don't mind waiting so yeah, uh, haven't ate all day, so I'm about to go and eat. And Morning, guys. So today is the day. It is early, early, early in the morning. Um, either three things are going to happen today. Either I'm going to get my braces off, I'm going to get the gingivectomy, or I'm going to get my retainers. I have no idea what's about to go on. I'm super duper nervous. The nerves just hit me all of a sudden because last time they only put topical. And you guys know, I mentioned before that my sister works in the orthodontic 
you know realm and she said that this office because she used to work here does not use the needle so they won't be injecting me with the numbing cream the numbing stuff they'll be putting it topical again and when they did that i felt everything okay so a little nervous not gonna lie but um everything will go great i'm in positive positive mindset positive mindset so i wanted to show you guys my teeth because i'm not sure if last time i did but my gap closed up and um for the gingivectomy you see how like this one is a little bit higher than this one um he i just want him to basically make that even and round it off even though you probably won't see it when my braces are off because my um, gum line will go down because the, you know it's swelling. I wouldn't mind going in them for maybe like one more month just to make sure that everything is everything. But of course, I'm going to take the advice of the orthodontic um, dude and just say, hey, like, what do you think? What should we do? So I actually have like two minutes left before my appointment. I need to check in and everything. Okay, so let's go ahead and end this vlog. I have a few things to let you guys know of. So obviously I'm back from my appointment. It's much later in the day and I still have my braces on. Yay. Uh, you guys know I'm not in a rush to take them off, but my orthodontist was basically like, yo, I can do more for your teeth if you let me give me like one more month. And I was like, yes, you know, do what you need to do. So I still have them on and I am not scheduled to have them off until October 26th. But when I went in today, it was on my chart for me to have them off. But when he looked at my teeth, he was like, there's something that I could do. And I'm like, yeah, I see it too. So yeah, I didn't get my braces off and I didn't get my retainers, um, but they were there. Um, but I did get the gingivectomy and that was something else. So let me show you my gums. Also, if you are squeamish with like scabs and like skin burnings or whatever, then this may not be for you. So I suggest you to fast forward. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Because we're going to stay here. <laughs> so, ew, ew. This is so gross, bruh. It is so gross. Ew, 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 ew. <laughs> So that's what it looks like. Um, and of course, as you saw in the previous little clips that I was able to get, um, they were bleeding and everything, but they let me rinse out my mouth and whatnot. And this is the result. So they're basically scabbing and I'll go through a whole shedding and healing process throughout the next couple of days up to a week. So, yeah, I'm going to do a separate video of an update telling you all things about a gingivectomy just so you are prepared and I can give you all the details. But I can tell you a little bit more about what they did just so you're, you know, I don't want to keep y'all hanging in this video, but I will have a detailed video about it. So basically, they used a laser, they used a topical numbing cream instead of the needle like I thought they were. And it took a lot of time for me to be numb because they were kind of testing things out and I could still feel the pressure. And so it took a while for them to numb me. Um, and they basically used a laser to get off the gum stuff. There are some healing instructions that I need to adhere by, such as like gargling with salt warm salt water and using these vitamin E pills that they gave me right here two capsules um i'm gonna like poke a hole and use half of this capsule one day and then the other another so i'll probably have some vitamin e gel for four days just to kind of stretch these because these are pretty big and um i have to stay away from like spicy tomato-y type foods citrusy foods and drinks and beverages and I need to eat soft food so it won't irritate and mess with my gum area, I guess. Um, so, yeah, that's it in a nutshell. I'm definitely feeling some pain because they also put a heavier wire on my teeth as well. So that plus the gingivectomy is just very like, it's giving me discomfort. <laughs> 
Um, but I want to show you guys again. Um, I took an Advil, I mean, an ibuprofen, and I feel it kind of kicking in now. So that's good. And in the other video that I plan to do, I'll, I might do it. But if I do another video, I'll have clips of like updates throughout the days just so you guys can see like the healing process if you're interested. I don't know. I'll get a feel of what you guys feel like in this video. And if y'all tell me to do it, then I will. And then I'll just go ahead and film clips either way. But I don't want to hold you guys any longer. I feel like this vlog is going to be very long. And I really hope this vlog helped you. I tried my best to get as much footage as I could inside the dentist's office. And I think I did a pretty good job. So if this video gave you insight, helped you out, calmed your nerves, gave you more information, then please make sure you like and subscribe to my channel because I have plenty of other braces videos that I've done over the past couple of years. And although I'm coming out of my braces, I still plan to do braces related videos such as like my retainers and like the best things about braces the worst things about braces and other videos so if you have some suggestions make sure you leave them in the comment section down below I would love to do them for you and yeah make sure you subscribe I have other videos on my channel too so don't leave me once I get my braces off please don't please stick around so yes I hope you have a great day great week whenever you're watching this bye